Welcome once again guys in my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to discuss to you about the DAD parameter of Dixel XR60CX and the problem guys is during the frosting and it has a maximum length of the frost of 30 minutes. The problem guys is when you choose the DFT when you choose the DFD and the DFD is the cycle displaying during the frost and we have a default of IT but I choose that for the DEF meaning when this machine defrosts the DF will appear here instead of IT and IT is the display temperature at the start of the defrost and I choose this one but the problem guys is the dad this is the maximum display delay after defrosting and I'm going to teach to you what is the relevance of this dad to this IDF, MDF, DFD and DTE and I'm gonna show you that during defrosting if I set this to manual defrost This DF appear, but we began the frosting at negative 20. This mini fridge here is being operated by thermostat. I'm going to turn off the thermostat. And let's see. The normal operation of this one, guys, is when the frosting, the compressor will shut off. And this control is for displaying only. Let's wait for the 25 minutes because I set MDF maximum length of the frost to 30. I set it to 25 minutes instead of 30 minutes. A few minutes more guys before the the end up of 25 minutes defrosting for my MDF. And before that, if this DAD 30 minutes default is enough for delaying the display of this digital control because we started the manual defrost at negative 20 and take note our DTE which is the frost termination temperature if you use only one sensor DTE is function by time not by temperature because you disengage your one sensor and that is the evaporator sensor now cut at 8 degrees celsius and how hot your evaporator is it affecting the product inside your freezer and that things the customer will get mad at you because you're compromising the product quality and as a technician what you have to do is this 30 minutes is not enough so later we're going to set this what is the best time to be set for the dad I still have a few minutes left for the 25 minutes defrost there for that after the defrosting guys what will took effect is this dad the dad will start counting and it has a 0 to 255 minutes range and here the cabinet or the freezer cabinet is warm and this 8 here you should you may also change it to negative 5 or negative 1 so you will not going to compromise the product and you may also lessen the interval between the frost cycle if the restaurant or the supermarket you're working in is busy 
meaning if busy the door is frequently open so change this 6 to 3 so that every 8 hours this control will defrost and for every 8 hours the maximum length of the frost for the MDF is I the ideal is 30 minutes but if you're going to set that for 6 hours meaning every 4 hours your, your unit will defrost and you need also to lessen lower this 30 minutes frost to 20 or 15 it depends guys now this one guys we have a problem and now take a look the compressor now is start followed by fan motor and it will count 30 minutes but the problem is this temperature here is not the real temperature because of this DTE okay? the DTE is the frost termination temperature but we we only use one sensor therefore this DTE is being performed by time not by temperature and that time is this maximum length of the frost that's why I keep on I keep on saying on my previous blog that do not disengage the evaporator sensor for freezer because this DTE and MDF have a problem we have a problem now the fan motor engages but don't you know that the real temperature inside is not negative 20 because of this that max display delay after the frost and it will retain negative 20 but the moment that the auditor will check the temperature inside the freezer by using either analog thermometer or digital thermometer they will put that inside here and they will check they will check the temperature inside there now I'm going to turn this on because the defrost is being done this delay here is not enough therefore we're going to extend this delay to 60 minutes we're going to extend that to 60 minutes why 60 minutes or one hour because that time if the restaurant is busy during the frost are you sure that the that the people in the restaurant they did not open the door to get the product if that's happened the negative 20 is now positive 8 now are you sure that the, that the inside temperature is positive 8 let's say it's a positive 15 and you need 60 minutes in order for this unit to regain the negative 20 or otherwise it will appear negative 12 or negative 10 after the delay of 30 minutes and that's problem is we're going to just add this one the auditor or the people in charge monitoring this temperature will not get alarmed so all you have to do is increase the default 30 minutes to 60 if you wish 50 minutes no problem but be sure that you're not going to compromise the product temperature because that's the reason they hire us to protect the machine and the product as well the quality of the product as well I'm going to access that see it's not yet it's not yet showing the real temperature to enter the parameter press the set button and R down button for three seconds and another set and R down button for seven seconds to enter the hidden parameter 
and we're going to access the DAD. DAD, press set, and 30 minutes, we're going to change that to either 50 or 60, which is one hour. So that the people near this unit will not get alarm if they saw that the cabinet temperature is not in standard temperature because of the defrost. And that DAD, we set it to 60 minutes. And by that time, they will not get alarm and they will not call the attention of the technician. And that's how you're going to fix that one, guys. Do not prolong. Okay? For me, this is max. Although the manufacturer said it to, to 255 minutes. But just stay at 60. Otherwise, they will question you. Why after one hour, the temperature is stagnant? They will ask you a question. Maybe there is something wrong with there. I'm going to set the DAD to zero. So you will see what is the, the temperature after the frost. Okay. Again. I'm going to show you guys what's the real temperature. We defrost this unit for 25 minutes. And let's go for DAD. So I'm not talking here nonsense. Set. I'm going to set this to zero. And after the zero, the real temperature will appear. Okay, to escape, set and up button. Okay, I'm going to reset and see what is the actual. See? That is the actual temperature inside the cabinet negative 4.7 not negative 20 and take note during the cut in I talk about 10 minutes now but I'm not going to show that all see this is the temperature once you choose this RT real time the customer will get alarm if you choose the DFD if you choose the RT which is the real time or you choose the IT the IT is the uh, temperature before the frost but the ideal guys is choose the DF I hope you learned something new today guys if you have a question just comment it down if on call technician is not busy I'm going to answer that God willing. Thanks for watching until then. God bless.